If Hockey Hall of Fame voting was actually objective, Jeremy Roenick would easily be in hockey's hollowed halls. Here's why JR is a no-brainer pick. There's no doubting Roenick has Hall of Fame-worthy numbers. Between 1989 and 1990 and 2002-2003, he finished with at least 20 goals 13 times and 60 points 11 times. Between the 1991-1992 to 1993-94 seasons with the Chicago Blackhawks, he twice scored 50 goals and reached the 100-point plateau three times. In total, Roenick eclipsed the 40-goal mark four times and the 30-goal mark eight times. As of producing this, among American-born NHL players, Roenick ranks third all-time in goals with 513 and third all-time in points with 1,216. It should be noted that Brett Hull played internationally as an American and has more points and goals than Roenick, but was born in Belleville, Ontario, so he's not included in the ranking. Furthermore, Roenick owns two of the top 12 single-season scoring records for American-born players and is a member of the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame. He is one of just 50 players all time to reach the 1,200 point mark in the NHL and one of just 46 players to score 500 plus career goals, with Steven Stamkos on the cusp of joining him as of producing this. Although he never won a Stanley Cup, he did appear in the 1992 Stanley Cup Finals. In total, he notched 53 goals and 69 assists for a total of 122 points in 154 playoff games, showing he didn't shy away from the big moments. And not only did Roenick light the lamp with his lethal shot and set up teammates with his playmaking ability, he was a complete player who played a 200-foot game and didn't shy away from the defensive zone. Roenick is a career plus 153 in the regular season and has a plus 21 in the playoffs. JR was one of the most dynamic forwards to play during his time in the 90s, making him fun to watch on and off the ice. When the moment called for it, Roenick was never afraid to trash talk, deliver a big hit, or mix it up with the opposition, adding tenacity and snarl to his offensive abilities. He undoubtedly inspired an entire new generation of American kids to get into the game of hockey. This was in no small part because of what's probably his biggest legacy, NHL 94. That's right, many considered him a cheat code in this 16-bit video game. When it comes to video game athletes, Roenick is right up there with Bo Jackson in Temco Super Bowl. With his jacked up stats, good luck trying to stop JR as he blows through the ice and blasts the puck past your goalie. Roenick himself acknowledges and appreciates the accomplishment, saying, It's one of my claims to fame. I'm very proud of it. I'm down in the annals of history, whether it's being on the ice or in video games. <laughs> I like that aspect. Whoever it was at EA who gave me the great rating in 94, you've left me something to be proud of for eternity. Roenick is the best player in what many consider to be the best hockey video game of all time. How's that for being not just a hockey icon, but a pop culture icon? So what gives? Why is Roenick not in the Hall of Fame? It seems that it's because he's someone who speaks his mind and rubbed the wrong people the wrong way, which isn't typically appreciated in hockey's team-first individual stifling culture. This comes down to the people that are on the board, whether they like me as a person or not, because I think all my stats and what I did in my career pretty much speaks for itself, said Jeremy Roenick during a radio interview. I guess I'm just not their type of person. I think my stats and my career speak for themselves, but obviously I'm not a favorite of them personality-wise with the people that are there. Other than favoritism or lack thereof in Roenick's case, the only argument you can make for his lack of individual awards and championships, but the game of hockey is a team sport. Winning isn't always a testament of individual skill. Both titles and trophies can sometimes have more to do with being in the right place at the right time more than anything else. It's all about who your competition and your teammates are at the time, and Roenick's on position included the likes of Wayne Gretzky, Mario Lemieux, Pat LaFontaine, Brian Leach, Steve Iserman, and Zoe Sakic. Just to name a few of several elite players of his era. And let's not forget there are several other less deserving candidates who have gotten into the Hall of Fame ahead of Roenick. 
A few names that come to mind are Guy Carboneau, Clark Gillies, Glenn Anderson, and Joe Neuendijk. And more recently, Daniel Alfredson and Daniel and Henrik Sedin. For the sake of brevity, we won't get into each player's career resumes now, but let's just say that Ronick stacks up quite favorably to these guys. Ronick is one of only two players in NHL history to score over 500 goals and over 1,200 points not to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. The other player with that unfortunate distinction is Pierre Turgeon. What do you think? Should Jeremy Roenick be in the Hockey Hall of Fame? If not, what's missing from his resume? 